Good morning, folks. We've got stories from way beneath our feet to way out in the cosmos, starting with the crackling active region on our star departing out of view. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on the sun was a waiting game for the coronal hole turning through while at the right side. That departing active region began releasing solar flares again. Still in C-class range, but yet another sign that our star has some juice left in the tank as we await the cycle turnover later this year or next. These are now firmly pointed away from Earth, but the GOES satellite does still pick up the X-ray signature as long as you can see the flaring action. Solar wind up next, anemic. Speed dropped under 300 km per second, driving utter silence in the magnetic field. The cosmic ray health alerts at second highest level remaining in effect into their third day. The solar wind from this coronal hole is likely about two more days away, and despite its being center disk, we see no magnetic connection to it. It will be a seismic discharge return five-field setup. Speaking of earthquakes, an unbelievable story unfolded over a week's time beneath Turkey, an earthquake so slow that nobody felt it or even realized it was happening. FYI, the Istanbul segment of this fault is considered a seismic gap. It's expected to take a major quake sometime in the near future. Spot of good news in the climate realm, abandoned fields can rapidly turn back into forests, five times faster than it was believed, giving Earth a human mitigation mechanism to add to its long list already. We're zooming in next on the Large Magellanic Cloud. It and its smaller sister are the largest and most well-known satellites to the Milky Way, and today we learn that they play by their own star-making rules. Their metallicity gradients from nucleus to outer region differs from the greater Milky Way, and that has allowed its fledgling star formation to skyrocket as the Milky Way has settled out of its turbulent teenage phase and gotten a real job. Up next, a bit of fun. For those like me who dream of space industry or starting a benign version of the Wayland Corporation, the artificial land and other items needed to support a generational craft with modern technology has been broken down and it's looking like about a half a kilometer square is going to support 500 in perpetuity, provided vertical farming is incorporated. Last, but certainly not least, there's a terrific paper that hints at plasma universe cosmology. The thick disks we see of the galactic form, including spiral galaxies like our own, has always thought to be the result of a massive accretion during the activation of the galactic nucleus. Now we find that is not the case. In fact, no galactic disk follows those rules. This is critical here because recall the cosmic jet story from last week about the electric current of the jet driven by galactic magnetic fields. That current is perpendicular to an electric plane, a sheet field that is activated by the current at the nucleus point and condenses, energizes, and Markland convects the galaxy around it. Folks, there is just today and tomorrow to register for Observing the Frontier 2019. We have to give numbers for food, your seating, etc., so we are less than 48 hours away from the end of registration, otf.cells.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps followed by shots of our star to close, We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.